filed this under one of those things I told you what happened. <laughs> Bitcoin is taking another dip and none of us are su surprised, especially the people that hang out on this site. No one is surprised. It's only the trolls and the ones who are still believing and trying to keep hope alive and you know it's that old song don't stop believing you know it's time to stop believing <laughs> what you're looking at is cannibalism you're looking at the the bitcoin has basically killed all the babies in the crib you know and when you kill all the babies in the crib, there isn't anything new coming in. When you constantly are infested with scams, you're not going to get any new money. So what we're seeing here is all of these so-called whales and these crypto exchanges are basically left with their own money. So they all get together and send out, you know, they got their own little private little discord group and they send messages to each other. Say, hey, we're going to try to, you know, get a nice little rise going into next week. And then the dump should come about uh, Tuesday. <laughs> so they'll say, OK, let's let's pump on Friday, dump on Tuesday. And all all of them basically agree. Then you start seeing that rise right there that you see there and then boom straight to the ground now it's about to repeat the process it's going to get another little rise and straight to the ground and what you guys don't realize is that you're going down slightly upwards <laughs> you know creating this illu illusion like you're making money you're not making money listen to me this shit is a scam bitcoin is a scam get out of it now Okay, so I have no shit to do with being bitter because you were scammed by a centralized exchange, whether that shit is centralized or decentralized. Listen to me with decentralized. You still have to put your keys into a wallet. Okay. And they say, okay, keep your keys private. Then why in the fuck do I have to put my private key in MetaMask? You see how this shit is conditioned for scams? So now all you have to do is hack MetaMask and they got access to your so-called private keys. Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Stay the fuck away from Bitcoin or cryptocurrency as a whole. There is no difference whether you're talking about Ethereum or Sand or Litecoin or any of that fucking fairy dust. Stay away from that shit. Okay. But am I last night won three hundred dollars on DraftKings? All right, that was three hundred dollars off of two dollars and seventy five cents. Some shit that you cannot do in Bitcoin, that you will not do in Bitcoin. It's virtually impossible. Okay, because of why criminal ass Asians are not going to let it happen. They will not allow that to happen. And that's what I'm trying to help you guys see. That there's only one way to protect yourself in crypto. is to not do it. Remember what I said. There's no safe way to do stupid shit. If you think you're going to ride it down to the ground. They're just going to have one of these rocket explosions up to the upside. Either knock out your stop loss. But they're going to keep doing that until triggering your stop loss until they've sucked all or any profits that you have out of it. OK, you are dealing with organized crime when you're dealing with cryptocurrency. You are dealing. Here I am again with those words, those words I use to to trigger negative consensus. You are, in fact, dealing with a scam that will collapse and leave you penniless. That scam is Bitcoin. Okay. Have I made myself clear? Now, I'm not going to stop putting out these videos because my goal is to bring Bitcoin all the way down to 10 cent a fucking coin. That's my only revenge. It's my only way to get revenge. 
it will not go up because people like me will keep doing this shit constantly to make sure that the criminal organizations continuously lose money. Yeah, they've already gotten away with money. They've already sucked a ton of their money out of it. Right. But here's the thing. They can't really move that money around the way they want to. They have to explain where it came from. Definitely can't put it in U.S. markets. So they can only really do shit in corrupt as China markets in which eventually the government is going to take that shit away from them like they did the CEO of Alibaba. Right. So in many ways, the criminals need Bitcoin. OK, the criminal as Asians and a hacking ass white boys, they need this shit to stay alive in order to move their, uh, you know, the amount of money that they've stolen, their loot in order to move that shit. They need this. And the money that they're stealing is coming from you, your money. If that exchange that you're on is going to eventually rug pull. No one thought FTX was going to rug pull. I was one of them who did not think FTX would rug pull until that shit rug pulled. Listen to me. It's never your exchange until it's your exchange. No one ever thinks where, they, where their Bitcoin is right now is going to happen to them. But you gave those slimy bitches real money in exchange for something you don't even have a picture of. You don't even have anything in your tangible in your hand. Just a fucking dream. A worthless ass dream. That's what you were sold. Fairy dust. It's your boy TJ in the night ward of New Orleans. Stay safe. Don't get raped.